Hi, it's Harry Hydro. Today I'm jerking around with this carburetor. This is that eight horse generator. This is the carburetor. And I've tried taking this sucker apart. Uh, I guess about a couple weeks ago and I couldn't get it apart. I was having carburetor issues. Actually, the float was stuck. Now, this is an updraft carburetor, okay? If anybody's got one of these, there's important things to know. You can't just take this thing apart by taking the screws off the top. This is actually the top. You've got the three screws here. One, two, and three. The other thing you got to take apart, okay, this is the way the carburetor would sit. You've got to pull this jet out, which is this guy. Okay. You can take this off as a hole like this. But then this guy is inside of there, and, if, and look how it goes. It comes right up through the middle and into the low speed idle circuit right here. Uh, where is that up? Oh, I'm sorry, it goes this way. And if you can see right down the side of there, that hole right near right before the jet, that's where that rod goes up into. This is protruding down the side of this bowl. Okay, see how, see how that's sitting higher like that? Okay, this thing's idling funny, or it's not even idling, actually, it's, I gotta choke it to make it one period, so, it's got some mixture problems, and I think it might be already fixed. <laughs> Uh, put it together. I mean, it's not that complicated now. If you try to get this apart without taking out that brass metering rod, I guess you'd call it, or venturi, it won't come apart. In fact, it probably will bend that. That's probably bent actually, anyway. But uh, I stopped and didn't go crazy and didn't push it. So I'm going to try to get it back together again. Here we go. Okay, I got this pig back together again. <gasps> Did I just call it pig? No idea what these these controls should be. I put two and a half on this, three quarters on that. One thing I found out is when I was setting this before, pulling this down to set the full speed, I don't have the hammer on here. So actually the throttle plate was going like this and going like this and closing again. That's definitely closed. In fact, they have sticks. But it should run, and it might probably run still lean, but maybe not, and maybe I can just... This this was half-ass working before when it was racing. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Okay, I got this thing half-ass running. I think it's not run too bad. I got a low-speed sort of governor engine control with a choke open. This is what I come up with on this here. This is the idle. Right about here, and this is probably on the lean side, so I got half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, two and a half turns, wow. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. That's any leaner than that, it seems like it don't want idle. Um, this one down here on the bottom is not as much as I thought it would be, I don't think. Inside, I can see this. Yeah, that screw. Let's see what that is. Half. One. One and a half. Okay, I told you, was that that was two and a half, and that was one and a half. Okay, let me uh, set this place someplace up for you. See how it starts. If it starts, I'm gonna start to choke it. But uh, let's see. I set it on my underwear, and it's not quiet. And this muffler is this is working. Okay, here we go. I guess you got a halfway decent view. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Well, first, I'll just try pulling it. It should start like this, really. Yeah, 
شو floods immediately when it's choked. Like that, did it? Okay. You know, might might be actually better with the air cleaner on starting, but that seems to be about where it likes. To, at least, you know, I mean, it, it kicks good when, it's, when you hit the throttle. So that's that's the look at this. This updraft carburetor, sure. This screw in the bottom, this hex Allen wrench screw. When when I loosen it, it leaks gas because actually right now gas puddling down here. See this thing is floating over. But it'll stop. I think this is shaking is so much nice the throttle maybe is our float is coming up. 